Wow, look. <gasps> oh. That's probably it. That could be game over. Oh my God. The charger is out of order. <laughs> Come on, please don't be there. That's the tippity top of it. Come on, Ben. Come on. Hello, welcome to Car Throttle. My name is Alex. I'm Jack. And oh boy, do we have an electrifying challenge video for you today. Nice, I like what you did there. It's an electric car. Yep, we're doing a race. I'm gonna go via public transport. You're gonna be in this and we're gonna be racing to the Eiffel Tower. Our race will take us from the highest building in the UK, London Shard, to the highest in France, the Eiffel Tower. The only catch is that we're only allowed to use one mode of transport each. Alex a car, well I've opted for the train. This means that I've got to walk to King's Cross Station and then from Gare du Nord to the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Bon app, bon app indeed. Uh, before we do that though, you may notice that Ethan isn't here and that's because he's currently on the toilet. He is, yeah, big old poo. That's what they call karma because he is a big old cheat. He is. So a challenge video, he's ill, definitely karma. Anyway, before we go on our race, do you want to know a little bit about this car? Yeah, go ahead. It is an Audi e-tron gt 3.3 seconds to 62 miles an hour a range of 280 miles so i just need to whisk myself to folkestone on the train and then to the eiffel tower nice yeah anyway before we launch into our race a shout out from this week's video sponsor omaze thanks to this week's video sponsor omaze you could win your very own brand new rs e-tron gt in their newest sweepstake experience the RS e-tron's 475 kilowatt capable battery can send it from zero to 60 in just 3.1 seconds and will take you 283 miles in a single charge. All donations help to support a great cause, Oscars Kids. Oscars Kids is a charity that supports and enriches the lives of children and families navigating paediatric cancer and other childhood diseases and is dedicated to helping children and their families on both sides of the Atlantic. Their mission as a charity is guided by the immense joy in which Oscar Keogh lived his life. Despite passing away from DIPG, five-year-old Oscar's endless bravery and the magic he injected into every day, even the hardest ones, was something that Melissa Ranch and her husband decided to help carry on. So they co-founded the Oscars Kids Charity Chapter in the US. Right, ready? I'm ready. Enough talking. I've got to get walking. Oh, very good. Run, okay. That was good. You need to walk to King's Cross from here. I do. It's an hour. Oh. It's walking and train, that's all I've got. Oh no. Yeah. I'll see you at the Eiffel Tower. I'll see you there. Before you go though, I just wanted to just wanted to wish you well. What are you gonna do to me? Hands. You're not gonna let go of no, me. No, that's no. my back. <laughs> <laughs> go on there, Jack. See you later, mate. See you, man. See ya. See you, see you soon. <laughs> Leave see you me soon. alone. <laughs> ben, get up, come on, let's go. Maybe we can run him down on the way. Are we on? Are we on? Vroom. Yeah, we're on. Let's go. Okay. Ground. Why does that say out of service? Out of service? Yes, I know. Come on. How is this happening instantly? If I've got to take the f***ing stairs. Right, I genuinely think that this is my best shot of actually winning a challenge. Because Jack has an hour to walk. And we have got to go to Folkestone first, fill up, and then a quick sprint to parry for victory. Easy peasy! First thing, lift's out of order, so I can't go down from the top of this multi-story we're at. <laughs> this is quick, isn't it? Okay, right. I have currently got 193 miles of range uh, to get to Folkestone. It's 67 miles. We probably only need maybe even 10 minutes of charge to get us all the way to Paris. <clears throat> we can do this. Ben, you look very sweaty. We're going to need a bit of aircon, aren't we? I am sweating. All right. Aircon on. That's reduced my range from 193 to 186 miles. Ben, you're a maniac. We can't have that much blowy. 185 now. You've just cost me another mile. <laughs> I've got to get to King's Cross, St Pancras International. I'm not going to lie, it's been about three minutes. I'm tired already. I've got an hour. I've got to do an hour of this. And then I've got to do more walking when I get over the other side. I wonder if he's set off already. But with any luck, traffic getting out of town is going to be horrendous. That would help me out a lot. Um, driving in London is a massive ball leg. It's, it's disgusting. Average speed of probably eight miles an hour, if that. Also, when I was driving into London, um, there was a roundabout. I wanted to go for a little gap and the car just stopped itself. It was like, nah, too dangerous. 
It's very fast though. Whoa, you got hyperdrive mode. It's not a thing, but it feels like it. Old builder recovery truck. Another upside to walk in. So peaceful. So yeah, we've got 637 horsepower for a very short time uh, and a range of 280 miles, which will not get us to Paris. Well, if we hypermiled it, maybe, but we're in a bit of a rush. And because you're sweating, Ben, we need to have the aircon on. And I need it too. For some reason, I can't stop thinking about how good the air conditioning in that Audi must be. Meanwhile, I'm out here cooking up a fresh batch of bull soup. People are giving me the strangest looks while I'm vlogging. This wouldn't happen if Ethan was here. If he was here on the camera filming me, I wouldn't have the strange looks. Everyone's looking at me like I'm some sort of YouTube weirdo vlogging. What's up, YouTube? Okay, so our ETA is 15.56. I think Jack's train is in an hour from now, so that's 3.15, about half three. I think he's lying to me. I'm about halfway through this walk. I'm definitely feeling tired. Wow, look. <gasps> oh! They just crashed. Why did you just go through a red light? So this guy in the van just blew a red light. That's what you get. You get young kids on mopeds who think they're invincible, and then you get dickheads in their vans who just aren't paying attention. It's a recipe for disaster. And when you're in central London as well, it just causes incidents like that. Be careful, everyone, all right? Anyway, I'm in my 130,000 pound e-tron. I don't really care. Cool. Anyway, let's um, concentrate on getting out of this hellhole, otherwise known as London. Uh, pro tip, if you're ever in London, just get the f*** out, just as soon as possible, just as quickly as physically can. Didn't bother with a jacket today. Don't really need it. Stupid. To be fair though, the upside is that the rain has now just gelled with the sweat all over my body and like sort of diluted it in a sort of way. So that's an upside. I do feel a lot fresher. Got about 10 minutes left till we get to King's Cross. Close now. Look at all these people come back from holiday to this. It must be miserable. I know it's making me miserable. business class man it was too quiet in there it was full of suits just doing work and I felt like I was disturbing them trains on the board but it says please await boarding which means I, I don't know how long I've got to wait I just want to not be in this train station so bad we have probably got another 15 minutes until we get to Folkestone and then we're just gonna flexi plus the shit out of it we're not gonna stop for the toilet I'm afraid Ben we're just gonna go straight on Voyage. Let's do this. Here we go. Flexi Plus. Beautiful. That was very painless. We literally rolled in through two passport controls and then on the train in probably four minutes, five minutes. That was super quick. And it takes about 35 minutes crossing, which is very cool. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, and then we'll get some charge, get some candy up as well. Cheers. Cheers. And then we will dart to Paris. Hello mate, how are you getting on? Badly. Badly? How bad? Tell me, how bad? <laughs> well, we should be on a train by now. What's, what, sort of, what sort of situation are you in? You got traffic? Well, I'm surrounded by a whole bunch of lorries on the A20. Okay, that's bad. Um, I'll give you an update from me. You can choose to believe this or not. 
I'm at the station and they've just announced that the train's delayed. 45 minutes. If that helps you at all. Uh, I'll, I'll just choose not to believe you because you're just <laughs> untrustworthy. Well, I could be telling you the truth. That might help you out a lot. Yeah, it might. Or I could be lying. Oh, you're for sure lying. Yours sounds really quiet. You're, you're tucked up somewhere. You might even be there already. I, I'm actually on top of the Eiffel Tower. I'm about to base jump. Okay, well, I could be stuck in traffic or I could already be on the train. Okay. But I'm stuck in traffic. On a train. Okay. On a train. <laughs> okay, all right. So you're on the train now? No, I'm not. If you were on the train, then you wouldn't scream. Scream? I'm not going to scream. <laughs> Alright, well I'll see you at the Eiffel Tower at 5pm because that's, um, that's our ETA. No, it isn't. It isn't, is it? No, it's quarter, quarter past five, sorry, yeah. Ah, Hour ahead, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, bye! Alright, see you later. Bye. Oh, Jack's just trying to feel us out, isn't he, Ben? He's a little yeah. bit nervous. I swear he would have screamed, wouldn't he? He, he would have screamed, yeah. he would have screamed, yeah. He He's didn't. always running through King's Cross screaming. <laughs> yes, so. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a bit of a wonder. My train is delayed by 45 minutes, which is probably going to give Alex the edge. That's probably it. That could be game over. Half four is supposed to leave. Now it's expected at quarter past five. This could be a massive problem. In if anything, I'm now going to break even more laws. So thanks, Jack. Because of you, I'll probably lose my license. And with that, transition. Didn't work. Oh, shit. We're still here. I've been there an hour and I'm bored out of my mind. Oh Christ, we made it. I felt like I was in that waiting room for eternity. That was so bad. The whole time as well, I'm just helpless. I just can't do anything. And then Alex is just racing off towards the finish line and then that's it. I am in Business Express though. Pretty swanky. I think I'm bragging over here. Yeah, cheers, thank you. Literally nothing to do now, just sit back, let the train do it. Oh, I see them over there. Oh, this is very exciting. Yes. Okay, hopefully, they will work. Open. Tap to start. Connect. Ooh, double socket. Juice me up, baby. You, we, you are not authorised to start charging. Please contact your access provider. What is my access provider? What does that even mean? Oh, Christ. Where's my phone? Oh, there we go. Looks like you're not connected to a network. <laughs> For God's sake. How do I connect? Shall we still? Yes. Okay. Am I recording? What do you mean? Yeah, but why, how can I? That's no, recording. You can see it says recording. Okay. Right. Make it work. Oh, oh no! no! This is this is not right. Meanwhile, car looks good with a big penis hanging out of it. Oh. No! Oh, <laughs> we could be losing this. <laughs> Hello, Hello, mate. Sorry. Quick question. Yeah, go on. How do you get these bloody things to work? Okay, so. Ben, who's 12. So I i didn't have data roaming on. And Did the 11 year old. We, we, we figured it out together. Payment successful. Waiting for connection. Oh, oh. Uh, now I high five myself for doing a thing. Oh, 116. Oh, it is really motoring now. Vehicle charge connection. Please close charge flat. Why? The charger is out of order. Oh my God, the charger is out of order. You f Okay, so we are on the motorway now. We have 144 miles, which is definitely not gonna get us to Paris. Uh, but all the ionity just isn't working. I don't know what's happened. Okay. We, we need like five minutes worth of charge to get us there. But the fact that we have to stop now means that it, it is pretty much guaranteed game over. All right, Jack, hope you're doing well. <laughs> Sounds like that looks to have a good time. 
Is that what I want? Wow. Hey, Mark, this has been very pleasant. The view was a bit dull for uh, Johnny, but we're above ground now, making some good time. Shall we see if this will work, then? Yeah. Okay. Tell you this. What? Jack's train's been delayed. Really? Well, he's messaged me. I messaged him saying, where are you at? Because we've been delayed. And he said, no idea, I'm underground. My train has been delayed there. Okay. Well, I don't believe him. No. What? What oh. happened? Oh, Ben. So I've been trying to use the browser. I've put my credit card details in about six or seven times. Every time, failure, failure, failure. And then nine-year-old Ben here says, let me try the app. And now we are making noise and we are charging. Oh my God, it feels so good. It's, it's been too stressful. Let's go and get some food. All right, this is young Ben. He is seven. Nine. Nine, okay. So this is your first experience with Candy Up. Yeah, I've heard of good big things from you. So yeah. we've got to shake I've it I've actually been, yeah. Such an amateur. I know. What's that? Cheers. Cheers. Oh god, the world is now at peace. It's just chocolate milk. Are you taking the piss? Oh, oh my, my throat's having a chocasm. Now we are running quite late, aren't we? Okay, so the car is refueled. We are refueled. For long journeys, a car like this is absolutely awesome. And the best thing is, you guys can actually win a car like this by uh, hitting the link in the description below. Easy peasy. And then you could have your very own electric. I mean, it's pretty much an electric supercar. But yeah, anyway, Audi e-tron now gets a thumbs up in my book because it's me that's the problem with the car, not the car being the problem. Let's, let's go to Paris and let's hope that Jack has had a very bad time. <laughs> That was the easy bit. Now I've got to start walking again. I have no idea what, which way I should be going. Right, now I'm outside. I need to make some progress because I've got a feeling that they're there. Now that looks really nice. I'd like to stop and have a proper look around, but, but I can't because I've got to beat Alex to the Eiffel Tower. It's actually really infuriating. The French are equally as weirded out about some random guy vlogging down the street as the people in London were. Screw you for not being here and helping me. Alex has just messaged me saying, sorry Jack, game over. Ball. He said he got on a 5.30 crossing. There is no 5.30 crossing. There is a 4.30 crossing that was, was delayed. So either he's lied to us and he's already at the Eiffel Tower or he was delayed and he has got into Paris Garde Nord about 20 minutes ago. As it stands we could actually get there roughly the same time or be about 10 minutes behind him. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm prepared for failure but I'm hoping for victory. Anyway, the sun is going down so am I tonight. Mm. Don't let the sun go down on me. E -e -e -e. Yeah? Apart from that though, the car is doing very well. We've got 108 miles left in the tank. And as you can probably hear, there is a bugger all road noise. It's lovely. Good way to travel long distance. Ben, we've got payage coming up, which means that we need to pay a lot of money. Have fun with that. Yeah, cheers. Forty minutes into my hour and twenty walk, I'm trying to pace myself. I'm trying to maintain a good speed, but the carbs are slowly failing me, and my dogs are barking. Look how nice it is. There's no way this GoPro is doing it justice. This is a very cool city. I'm like one fanny pack short of being the final boss in Tourist Simulator 2022. The way that I keep spinning this camera around, everything to capture the vibes. There it is. There it is. We're close. How far away is that? 26 minutes. It's right there though. Where's he? What an adorable piece of shit. Okay, we're, we're pretty near, isn't it? 
there it is. That is La Tour de Fel, the Eiffel Tower. But look at it. It's massive. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know where Jack is. That's the tippity top of it. That's the tiniest tip. Just the tip poking up. Just what you'd like to see. Come on, please don't be there. Oh, there's a parking spot. Right, these Audis park themselves? No. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. <laughs> I can take victory. Come on, Ben. Oh, no. Look who it is. Hello. What time do you call this? Isn't it? What time do we call this? <laughs> How long have you been here? I've been here probably about 20 minutes. So charging. Charging, f me. Did you have charging issues? Yes, oh, many. <laughs> oh no, I'm, why are you so late? Why am I so late? Because I had an hour delay as well from my train. So without charging issues, I would have won. So again, for the fourth time, I was robbed. The people are going to be on my side. Because no, again, this time. again, you've proven that public transport is better than a car. Yeah, all I've proven is I, a mortal man with human legs, are faster than the Audi e <laughs> <laughs> You're faster than rapid charging, I'll give you oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good journey? Journey was good, charging not so good. Charging was a proper ball ache. Yeah. You'll see, you'll I'll see. see. You'll see, see. You'll see all I'll the fun see. that I've been having. <laughs> However, there's a... Big old bit of metal, that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, big old scaffold, that. Big old it? Meccano set. We've made it, we're in Paris. It's nice here. Yeah, what does that prove, Jack? It proves that, once again, you're just really bad at this. Yeah, yeah. So, there you have it. For the fourth time <laughs> in a row, public transport is actually better than taking a car or a, no, you're fine, motorbike. Uh, Jack, congratulations. Thank you, well deserved. On a very yes. shallow victory. No, well deserved. Very shallow. You're a good sportsman. Uh, yeah, well, loser. Ben and I are actually going to take the e-tron to the hotel. So there's a, I mean, there's a lot of police cars here and there's a lot of uh, men with bikes. So off you pop. Can I not just? No, absolutely not, because public transport is better than a car, I'm isn't used it? used to walking, actually, Yeah. To be anyway, from us and all of these people, Thank you very much for watching our fourth challenge video. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe here. Watch more videos there. Don't forget to go to omaze.com forward slash car throttle Audi for your chance to win an Audi RS e-tron GT and to support the amazing work of Oscar's kids, which help to make the lives of children and their families going through paediatric diseases a little bit easier. From us, have a great weekend. Bye bye. Good luck, Jack. I'm Good luck. knackered. Good luck. Can I come Good. With no, absolutely not. <laughs>